since 1995. I've seen them on the interwebs. <laughs> so, all right, let's have a look at these cranks. Looks just like a SRAM dub bottom bracket. Crank axle, I should say. Not surprised, because that just looks... What do you got there? Oh, I'm just having a look at a um, Quark, which is, yeah, a dub dub axle, yeah. and it's same, same. Hey, Joe. Yeah? SRAM rep just walked through the front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's... Show us it. SRAM has actually changed this. It's not a three bolt. This is SRAM's old fitment system for, for chain rings and spiders. It's now eight smaller bolts. That's a T25, the, it's T20 bolts times eight. So, but it's a very nice looking one piece machined chain ring. Right. Not that um, unsimilar to a SRAM red chain ring. Uh, bottom bracket. So what we have here is the Sensor Empire Pro 2x12 speed group set, which I ordered from AliExpress on Monday the 8th of August and I received it in my home in the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia on the 18th of August 2022, so 10 days, which is pretty impressive. But what impressed me most is the price of $569 AUD plus postage total 642 AUD, which is 440 USD meaning that's roughly half or even a third of the price of the tier three mainstream 105 rival, which is pretty crazy. So what is that, the bottom bracket? This is a bottom bracket, which is basically very similar to a dub bottom bracket. Feels all right, spins. How exciting can bottom brackets get when you unbox them? Oh, <laughs> if a ceramic <laughs> bottom bracket can get quite sexual. Can it? Okay. I think, yeah, right. it flies in very nicely. Oh, does it? Even okay. without some grease. All right, what do we got here? A heavier box. All right, we've got a chain. Which I don't think it's a sensor chain. No idea. You'll know if it's good on the first hill whether it snaps or not. <laughs> is the chain a chain or? Yeah, pretty much. Some Just of the wait. actual most expensive ones are actually the most rubbish ones. Right. I think if you've got SRAM, run a SRAM chain. If you've got Shimano, run a Shimano chain. Yeah. Back in the 10 speed days, it didn't really matter. It definitely, I think it matters now to have the right chain on there. So yeah. here we go. Oh, they even gave you a purple ring. Right, that's a little that's bit nice. snazzy. That basically just looks like an old tram derailleur, really. Right. When you say old, how old are we talking? Two years. Ah, uh, like a tram, pretty similar. Right. A tram, tram force or red. Oh, oh okay. Oh, really? Derailleur. Right. Carbon here. It's light. Jockey wheels are nice and tight. Spin well. Okay. They look like they've got sealed bearings in them as well. Actually, it's got some nice springs in there. Doesn't feel cheap. No, that's nice aluminium. All really well, well constructed. It's actually circlipped the same as the S word. Gotta be careful what I say here. Not beard, not beard at all. Shifters, carbon fiber. Basically it looks like it comes out the Shimano factory, that piece there. Right. The elephant knuckle here, which attaches to Should the handlebars. Point to it again, the elephant knuckle. Just here. Oh, okay, right. Mm. How does it click? How does that click feel? Same as shrimp. <laughs> the dog, right. double clicker. Reminds me of Austin Powers. Hey, double claps. When did you get the clapper? 1974, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yep. It's a nice carbon lever. It's pretty light. Nice hoods. In fact, that the hoods and the design actually look more campy. Got a nice feel for, for time trialing. I like to, um, when I'm time trialing, I like to sit on the hoods like this, but I like to lock a pinky in there. Right. Just for safety. Okay. Mm. I that call it well. the, the pinky lock. <laughs> time <laughs> trial. Okay, okay. 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. 1200? 1200. Yeah, for Sneaky Hill. Oh, nice. Can I know you are explosive, aren't you? Yes. Thank you. You didn't forget. <laughs> yeah. And then this, this is like completely opposite to everything else. It's just like a really what? cheap looking front derailleur with absolutely oh, okay. no engineering or design. But who knows? Maybe it works better than all the over engineered stuff. Right. It's just a Play simple with. four joint, one action front derailleur. Is that steel or aluminium? I need to know. Hold on a second. Okay. I'll be back. With a magnet, I just want to... So they're obviously steel bolts. Steel, 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 and then aluminium. It's pretty cool, actually. It's like a... Maybe not machined. It looks like pretty high quality. Might be laser cut. I don't know, but it's... um. Yeah, the back piece is all aluminium. It's actually a pretty cool cassette. But this actually looks really good quality, and it's light. Yeah, okay. I'm quite surprised. Okay, what else you got? What's that? Yeah. Final box. Rose? Calipers? Oh yeah. 
Oh, you didn't uh, actually get the breaks that we thought we were getting. These aren't the uh, not so wonderful. Right. They're just a single actuated brake. It's not a dual piston. So right. that's just adjustable there. But we actually wanted to get the, which should have come with this. They're actually, it's a hydraulic caliper. Right. With the cable that comes into the hydraulic caliper, which you can bleed or unbleed. And it's a dual piston caliper, right. which is quite cool. Which so that I ordered the wrong thing. My fault. I don't think you did order the wrong thing. That's I think they might have sent you the wrong thing. Oh, really? Okay. So from, from what we Googled yeah, okay. on the interwebs. Right. So we'll have to look into that. Okay. We could give them a go, but they're just single pistons. So the, the way that it works is that the rotor actually gets pushed into that brake pad. Yeah. Instead of the pads going like that, it goes... It push, pushes oh, and okay, the road right. actually, okay, this right. is just, yeah, Cheap. the absolute pits. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really good. Front derail looks average, but yep. it might work. As I said, a lot of the new stuff is ridiculously over-engineered over yep. to the point that most of the stuff that I work on that's come from the shop with two numbers in it and uh, a few other places, yep. they just can't do it. Yeah, can't okay. tune it. Right. It is fiddly. So to wrap this piece up, this is not a paid ad. This is actually a mate of Jay's who's trying to get a business off the ground. And I can appreciate firsthand how hard that is via a Kickstarter campaign called Flock Light from Project Flock. And what they're trying to get off the ground is a tail light that shines light down onto your moving leg. So you can be seen up to five and a half times sooner than a regular bike light. I recently got to test out one of these myself and was impressed with the amount of light it shines down onto your legs and onto the ground, making you a lot safer and visible. If you're keen to jump on the Kickstarter campaign, it's closing in 48 hours, so make sure you check out the link below.